Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a whole new era of Alonzo Orion. Yes, I've wanted to ditch off this uncertain, this inconsistent, empty promise-filled past that I've been maintaining for some time now, and just move forward to something more wholesome, something... You know, I've always wanted to give you guys since I understood myself as an entertainer. So, I figured what better way to kick that off than to give you a first time playthrough of the game you wanted to see me play the most. Yes, welcome to my blind let's play of Silent Hill Origins. So this is the second Silent Hill game I've done a let's play of. Back a couple of years ago, I did a let's play of the first Silent Hill. Aside from that, I also have experience with the second game, which I've played pretty much to death, and then Homecoming, which I played a fair bit of back when it was first released. So this is a very interesting and different Silent Hill, as, well, the first three, to my knowledge, were made by the same group of people. Then comes the fourth one, which had some slight alterations. And then there's this game, which is produced by an entirely different company. That being Climax Studios, a British games producer. Now, they've produced one of my favourite games, which is called Sudeki. That's a fancy RPG. And, well, to my knowledge, they haven't really made many other games, so it's a bit bizarre. I have no idea how they came to develop this. Silent Hill Origins, a prequel to the first game. When I, when I mention it, actually, Climax does have divisions, and one of them is a US division. I don't know if it had something to do with them, but I guess I might come to figure out as I play through this game. I've heard a lot of good things about it, a lot of bad things about it. So I think the best way to inherit my own opinion would be to go ahead and play it. So, with this game, there is the original game on the PSP, and then a port on the PS2. I have decided to go with the PSP version, after doing a bit of research and reading, that the PS2 port, unfortunately, isn't quite as good as this. So yes, I'm emulating it. A little bit worried, because it has showed a few signs of potentially fucking up a bit, so I may have been a bit better if I would have played it safe and done a let's play of the PS2 version, but we'll see how this goes. If it doesn't go so well, then I can always switch over, no problem. I've got to say, um, first impressions, this is pretty nice. One thing I've got to say I love about the PSP is how crisp the graphics are on it, making it sound like I'm talking about food at the moment. Uh, it's just, it's such a pretty handhold. It, 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 I mean, it, it's somewhere lost between PS1 graphics and PS2. It, it feels more like a really well-defined PS1 that you can hold in your hands, you know. I mean, just look at this background. It is beautiful. So there's not really a lot we can do on this main menu here. Uh, there's no options. There's only tips in New Game that's of any use to us at the moment. Um, I don't know if the options would be in the PSP menu, which I have not a clue how to access on this emulator, I probably should have checked beforehand, that was my bad right there. But let's check out these tips, see if there's anything handy here. Oh my gosh, one page out of 13 I think that is. So, well, we better get cracking on with this. Oh, Coont Street. I remember that from Silent Hill 1. Ah, well, looks like we, um, have already noted one similarity there, so as Travis explores, he will find maps for the locations he visits in Silent Hill. These maps will be useful in your travels. Travis will make notes of important items and doors on the map as he discovers them. Check your map if you get lost or aren't sure what to do next. I get the feeling that this might be a good example of um, modern day hand holding in games. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of things here I could figure out for myself just by playing the game as opposed to reading all these tips, but it's handy that they're here. So I'll just gonna have a quick scan through them. Um, 
Travis will turn his head to look for objects of interest. Yeah, he does that in pretty much every other Silent Hill game I've played, you know. Uh, push X while standing in front of objects to interact with them. Wow. Uh, oh, controls. Hold down the R button. I'm guessing that'll be the R bumper on my Xbox 360 controller. Bit of a weird port going on here, really, I guess. Um, playing PSP on an Xbox 360 controller. Uh, so that's telling us about combat. Once you inflict enough damage to a monster, it will claw oh my god. <sighs> Come on, this is a bit silly. To prevent this, you should finish it. Yeah, it pretty much is just telling me how to kill things and how to finish them off, which every Silent Hill I've played before this has been like, yeah, it's fucking obvious really, isn't it? Uh, forward attack, yep, I think I can figure that one out. Uh... Oh, so, right, we can attack them without using this little lock on, uh, this little hold down system as well, apparently. Hold down X while in combat stance. No, 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 maybe not, actually, but uh, it does look like we can do charged up attacks here, so it might have been worth reading this. Uh, many large heavy items in Silent Hill that can be used as weapons. What? Okay. Interesting, so we can actually pick up typewriters, portable TVs. Uh, TVs? Isn't this game supposed to be set in the 70s? I think I established that from my uh, Let's Play of Silent Hill, actually. This game was set in the 70s, and Silent Hill, the first one, is set in the 80s. Uh, streets, the buildings... I'm sorry, I'm taking far too long on this already, I feel. So, press select for the inventory screen, I'm gathering from that. I feel like I'll miss something if I don't read through this, though. Uh, dangerous Nightmare, the other world. Wow, it's even telling us about the other world here. Can use mirrors to move between these realities. Oh, that's interesting. So it takes the other world feature from the first and the second game. It's like, here, help yourself between them. I don't know if I like that or not, really. Uh, yep, I kind of figured that Travis would get injured and would need to recover energy. So that's explaining that. Some monsters will grab Travis. Oh, terrible. During these grapples, Travis must act quick. Oh, right, there's quick time. Okay, well, I, I can figure that one out, but um, using an Xbox 360 controller, I'm just going to have to imagine I'm using a PS controller, and hopefully I don't do my normal trick of looking down at the controller for what button to press, because I, I don't know, my brain seems to slip the buttons, even though I've been using controllers like this for so many years. Uh, store the inventory, press select to go to the inventory. Uh, categories L and R. Okay, I think. Yep, examine, use, blah blah blah. In options menu, you'll find an option to alter the brightness to match the lighting conditions you are playing in Silent Hill Origins. Uh, right, okay then. That's it. That is, that is all. <laughs> Some tips. Oh, what was that green all about? Oh, sorry about that, guys. I, I'm guessing that was a bit of an emulation fault there. I'll just uh, try to ignore that, and hopefully it won't happen too much in the game itself. So here we go. Now we've wasted our time reading through every tip the game had to offer. Let's start a new game. Right. Is this music supposed to be playing so fast? I'm a little worried it's sped up, but I, 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 I obviously we've not played the game before, I wouldn't know. So we'll have the subtitles on, and as for the brightness, um... I don't know, the first game was very dingy, and so was the second game, so I wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt to leave it at the very minimum. Uh, is that the default setting though, or is that just being like, here, help yourself, you know, you can alter the brightness in this game. I don't know. Worried. Whatever. Just get into the game, shall we? Who'd I just pass there? That you, good buddy? Tree top tall and wall to wall. Travis, you messed up, son of a bitch. What you doing on my road? Late on a gig, bud. I'm taking the shortcut past Silent Hill. Stop up for coffee as soon as I hit Brahms. I'm beat. Bad dreams still keeping you awake. I told you, man. A girl or two would go a long way. Sleep like a baby with a chicken, your cat. Guess I just don't meet the right girls, bud. Maybe if you weren't always blabbering about losing your pants when you do your how you don't even remember how, why. Hey, chill. You don't see me bringing up your issues. 
<laughs> no need. My old lady keeps me fully informed of my feelings. The girl keeps notes. You mean she hasn't left you yet? <laughs> Any day now. See you around, Travis. Take it easy. Time oh. for Catch you later, buddy. Well, it's gross. Travis Green. A wonderful main character. I have high expectations of this man. A trucker, it would seem. Rule number one of venturing into Silent Hill. Do not leave your vehicle. Oh. Travis man, that is a bit creepy. Hell, it did say about the whole mirror thing, didn't it? Travelling through them into other worlds. Oh, there's the little girl. Huh? Hey, come back! <laughs> well, <laughs> one thing is at least consistent already, and that's the voice acting. Certainly on par with the rest of the Silent Hill series. Oh my gosh, that is really nice. You've got to consider that the PSP is this tiny little screen. The amount of detail some of the producers put into this kind of stuff, you know, it's beautiful. Right, so, oh wow. That is highly reactive. Using the uh, analogs, what happens to the D- oh right. Okay, so D-pad is, uh, well, a fist. I'm guessing it changes weapons or whatever once you've actually got them. But yeah, we're using the, um, is it the analog, oh god, my, my brain's mushed. Analog stick, joystick, whatever you want to call it. You use that for movement, and very reactive, as I said. Very reactive. So what other buttons we got? We got the, uh, oh you can, right, okay, okay. Oh, throw a little bit of a, uh, right hook there. What happens if I press it down twice? Does he do it? Oh, he combos. Uh, only twice, by the looks of it. Yeah, don't think we can go beyond that. No haymaker at the end. A bit disappointed. Right, um... Oh my gosh. Mary, Elizabeth, Glynn. That's the singer, by the way. She, uh... Work with Akira Yamoko, or whatever the fuck his name is, uh, the guy who produces this, all of the Silent Hill soundtracks up until a certain point. I'm not sure what that point was, but certainly for this game, he was part of it. Uh, she worked with him on some of his things, uh, some of his music, as a singer, and she has such a lovely, lovely sort of sultry tone. Her voice. Like, anyway, I need to stop orgasming over this game and actually bloody play it. Right. Um. Oh, right. Okay. God, that frightened me for a moment. I thought it like wandered off screen and I was trying to figure out how to get back on it then. Just didn't actually catch up with it. Right, so we got the credits as we walk down this road. Is there a run feature? Oh, no. That's light. Right. Okay, so, oh wow, we can even throw a rave here. It'll be like a one-man disco. It's amazing. Run. What's run? We have Y. I don't have a map for this. For this here, this this thing. Yep. Specifically, uh, what's left? Oh, that's click. Uh, that's flick the camera to my view, basically. That's handy. 
and uh, shouldn't press any of the top trigger buttons because they weren't on the PSP originally, so I doubt they're actually configured for anything. Uh, that doesn't do anything. We know that the inventory is configured to the D-pad. I, I don't know what square does. It doesn't do anything by the looks of it. Maybe if I hold it? Oh yeah, there we go. There's the run. Back did something, didn't it? Oh, inventory, right. Okay, so we have our flashlight, which is off. Which I turned off. We have a pocket radio. We have a lucky quarter. Let's examine that, shall we? I've had this quarter since I was a kid. From when my parents died. It's kind of a lucky charm. It has something... Does that go any further, or...? It must do. It has something... It can't just end there. How do I move it onto the next part? Oh god, what have I done? Okay, I'm guessing that's the PSP splash screen. My bad, at least I know I saved the game now. Okay, that was easy enough, got off. So I've got that configured to uh, left trigger, I'm gonna press that again. I'm not gonna touch right trigger, just in case it's something dodgy. Um, I have no idea how to push it forward, unfortunately. So we've got supplies, melee, firearms, and items. Uh, we can toy around with the options. Mm, just map zoom, music, brightness. Okay, so there we go, there's the brightness if we need it. How do I... There must be a way to change this. Because it just ends it, it has something. I, I'm just going to make up the rest. It has something of a, a luck to it. I don't know. There we go. Happy. Good. Thank you. No. No way of changing that. Sorry. Maybe one of you guys knows how to do that. So yeah, that's pretty much it by the looks of it. Okay. Let's uh, have a wander down this road then. Cinematic direction animation. The level... These all sound like very English names, so I'm going to hazard a guess that it is the English division of Climax Studios that makes this game. You know, uh... But it's a bit odd, because it's, you know, set in America. Got this American stereotype going on here. You're never alone with Hem a Hemingway? What the hell is a Hemingway? Is it a... What's that? Is it a cigarette or something? Sorry, I'm pressing my nose against the screen trying to see. It's not that, like, the window's any that small or anything, but... What's the other one say? Welcome to... I wasn't done reading. River... It's all this fog, I can't see shit. River... Shh... Oh, fuck off credits, I can't see. No, I don't think we can fully see that. I don't think it's going to let us. The fog's just waving around in front of it continuously. It's like it's moving backwards and forwards. It's not actually just continuously moving or anything like that. Uh, it might be possible to run directly up to it and look at it, actually. But, I don't know. Doesn't matter. It's not that important, I guess. So, welcome to Silent Hill. Oh, we weren't actually in Silent Hill. That makes sense, because he didn't actually... Um He didn't actually uh, pass it by on his truck, any sign like this. Whoop. Yep, I can see that. Not fire. It's smoke. Oh. My god. Oh my gosh. Looks like she's escaped from a goth band or something. Someone's in there. Maybe she's one of the old members of Marilyn Manson or something down the lines of that. Oh, come on. Why would that be a good idea? Right. Okay. Uh. Oh. Oh. I'm not liking this. What's going on? Sorry, guys. The frame rate's gone through the floor. Just give me a moment. I'll see if I can drop the resolution or something like that. Hopefully it'll fix the problem. Okay guys, I'm really sorry about that. I've just um, dropped the window size a fair bit just to make sure it's running a bit more smoothly. Yeah, it was kind of jittering a bit. Hopefully uh, it stopped doing that now. It does seem... To, I mean, I'm moving the camera around erratically and it seems to be working perfectly fine. Hopefully that won't happen again. So, um, yeah, we've been stood in this... I can't leave. There's someone upstairs. How does he know it's specifically upstairs? Something's blocking it. I can't open the door. 
Um, yeah, he's been studying this burning house for quite some time now. I mean, I've been messing around with the settings and stuff, and the fire doesn't seem to be spreading much, so some magic at work here already. Burning grandfather clock. I mean, the fire just <laughs> seems to illuminate certain things. It's great, isn't it? I don't have time to look up books. Oh, Travis. Is that what his name is? I've forgotten already. <sighs> It's locked from the other side, right. Oh, oh wow! Okay, that actually did damage to me and scared the shit out of me. Hello, I am a bag of nerves, formerly known as Alonzo. Oh my gosh! Uh, Alonzo Ryan. I thought I'd have to do a quick time there or something, that wasn't the case. Uh, oh! Oh, that is a... That is a portrait of Pyramid Head right there. Character from, um... Well, one of the antagonists from the second game. So, he is looking at that door. I get the feeling that it wants me to go through there. So, I'm going to do the complete opposite because I'm a dick. Something's blocking. Yeah, we get that. It's happening to almost every single door here. And what about this one that is clearly on fire? Yep, can't go through there. So, the one he's looking at, that's the one we want to go through. And a lot of things are burning in here. Just remember not to touch the fire on them. So, good boy. Okay. Yeah, when I'm nervous, I start to talk a bit faster. So, I do apologise for that. Uh, you may be used to this, you might not be, because you might be new to me. You know, just, uh, bear with me. Oh, that looks like... That that does look like, um, two of the characters from the first game. So, well, it's certainly a woman with her daughter, anyway. Right, so, a strange symbol. Looking at it makes my head hurt. And, oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh god, that's horrible. You're coming with me. S really? Candles for some kind of ritual? How? How is she? she? She can't still be alive. That's not right. Anyway, right, carrying the little girl who has clearly suffered from severe burns. Uh, oh, the door's now on fire. Wait, where am I going? Um, is there anywhere I can go? Maybe over here. Yeah, there we go. Oh! Might be safer if you just fall through, actually, to be honest. Because I don't see anywhere else we can go. I mean, how far... I, 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 that would hurt your legs at least, but apparently not, because he's Travis. Years of trucking has made his legs really powerful, clearly. Um, Not done the opposite at all. That's a nice sofa. I, where do we go? Where do we go? I, I'm sort of starting to panic here. So what the hell just happened there? There was some kind of symbol just showed up in front of me. I completely ignored it because I'm a dick. Yeah, I know. There's no time to look at these. I'm trying to figure out where the hell I'm supposed to be going. Alright. The symbol is helping me, I'm assuming. So if I run the right way, maybe the... You know, maybe it'll just clear the way for me. So I think we're back near the entrance now. Let's try this door. No. Oh, I remember. Yes. Right. This. Here we go. The front door was open, wasn't it? So there we go. We're out. Oh man, that is <sighs> safe now. Really? You're gonna tell her that? I mean, have you seen her? Hey. Someone help her! Where is... everyone? Yeah, I think it might have been the lightheadedness that made him think that everything's okay, you know. So... Silent Hill Origins, this is how Silent Hill... began. I didn't think of it like that, for some reason, up until now. So yeah, this is extremely dodgy already. Where am I? I mean, like, clearly something has happened between the time that he, uh... Silent Hill. ...passed out and now. What happened last night? Best that party girl. ever, man. Best party ever. Did she make it? They would have taken her to the hospital. Coon Street. I need to see if she's okay. Right, okay. Oh, this map's really nice. Very nicely detailed. 
I mean, if you've seen the maps in Silent Hill 2, Silent Hill 1, blurry as fuck. So, hospital's just around the corner. Just around the corner. It's interesting to see what similarities this actually has to um, the first game. Maybe I could actually... If, it, if I played the first game recently, maybe I'd actually know my way around. Because uh, it does seem to have some similarities. Though the map seems to be a different... Um, a different... Um, what, what, what would you call it? It seems to be turned a different way to... Uh, you know... The way it was in the first Silent Hill. So, uh, am I going the right way already? Just triangle is the map? No. No, I'm not. I'm curious if there's any items though, actually. Hot dog. Jumping frog. Jumping frog. Jumping frog. Albuquerque. Words of wisdom right there. Right. Okay, so uh, we'll just wander down here. There is a crash car. Uh, actually, it's not crashed. It's just parked in front of a lamppost. That's pretty odd to say the least, and it also looks very rusted. I mean, it kind of looks like the Silent Hill from the first game we, were expect we would expect, but... You know, it, it, this is supposed to be... ten years beforehand, and... Um, tell you what, this guy doesn't have as much stamina as bloody Harry does. He can, he can run really fast, can't he, and for a long distance, and this guy, he, he's worn out already. Oh. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, there's already a fucking huge crater. Uh, hello Andy. How's your bookstore going? Clearly not very well. Um, part of it's probably fallen off the side into oblivion. Yeah. So, uh, I, I don't see anything. We may as well just enter the hospital. I'm sorry if I'm going out a bit. Oh god, that, oh my god, this is exactly the same. It is as well. This is exactly the same as the first game, with the gate, with the ambulance, in exactly the same spot. The courtyard is exactly the same. The door is in the same place. Uh, El Camilla Hospital. Let's enter, shall we? Oh, that's not a good sign. That radio. Strength machine is probably out, so I don't know why I'm checking it. Oh, God damn it, camera angle. Be more patient. Let's have a look. I got a, I got a hospital map. Yes, this is exactly the same. It is. This is this is a mirror image. Literal mirror image of the hospital in the first game. That's pretty cool. I wasn't expecting that. So what are you looking at? Oh right, okay, sorry. I, I actually thought he was just his head was broken or something, he was looking at something that wasn't there. Under construction, currently the second and third floor of the hospital are undergoing renovations. At this time, they are closed to the patients and visitors. Work continues in earnest and the hospital management thanks you for your continued cooperation as we try to minimise the disruption. We estimate that the construction will be completed within six months. The reconstructing of the third floor will almost double our capacity for inpatients and introduce clean, more modern facilities. Here in um, Alcamilia, the quality of care we provide to you, our value patient, <laughs> getting there with the money, you know, it's American healthcare, isn't it? is the utmost importance. It could well be the English producer having a blow at America, thinking about it. Dr. Phillips wrote that, the chairman of Alcamilia Board. So, um, anything else around here, Mr. Travis, you want to direct us to... What's this all about? Oh my god. Oh right, okay, so that's the save system, not the um, PSP. Sorry, guys, I have no... I... I... I Honestly speaking, I've never played a PSP game. Not properly, anyway. I really mean that as well. Um, I've only played uh, emulated games on my PSP before. Never a proper PSP game. I should be slightly ashamed of myself. Oh, that sounds coming from the TV, which... Oh, that doesn't, that doesn't look real. Sorry, yeah. 
don't think real at all. <laughs> Just some magazines, nothing important there, then, eh? <sighs> so there we go, that's the save system, after all. Big triangle on the wall. I thought that was a hazard sign, if I'm being honest. I don't have any change. Who would call- who would I call anyway? Does that imply he has no, like, family, friends, or anything like that? Call the guy who's cheating on his wife, why not? You know, he seems like a lovely guy. How were they communicating? Were they using, like, truck, um... Uh, what do you call it? Radio. I'm guessing they were using radio. It would make sense otherwise, because this is, like, the, um, 70s. When were mobile phones invented? I don't know if I should, um go through here or oh it's locked okay well I probably should have checked that door before I went through here so um, it looks the same actually thinking about it I was going to say it looks a lot cleaner than it does in the first game but it really doesn't it just looks exactly the same so the locks broken I can't open the door that's up to the um, first floor as they would call it in America and uh, do they in Japan fuck knows seems jammed can't open the door why would the toilet door be jammed? I would ask myself. Yep, that's also locked, so it looks like there's only one route we can go through here. And, um... Right, that's music. Okay, I thought there was something walking for a moment there. So, medicine room, director's office, kitchen, staff lounge, conference room. Got a whole load of fun shit to go through here. That's broken. Oh, God. That, yeah, the camera is really... Ah, oh, ooh, my head. Stop it, please. Right. Music's gone again now. I can't leave until I know what happened to that girl. Wow, really curious guy, aren't you, Travis? Wait, what? I don't have any chance. Uh, is there a telephone there? No, he's he's talk. Okay, he's, commu he's communicating with that through the wall. Makes sense. It's locked. Here comes the music again. I'm guessing it was just going off because I ran down that corridor there. Nice plant. Uh, there's a letter up there that he's looking at. A notice about a recent fundraising event. Lovely. He does look at everything as well. That's pretty awesome. I like to interact with things in these games. There's a tile there. Out of place. Seems jammed. Lovely. Oh, here we go. Window is smashed and open. Pay no mind. Hey, you a doctor? Can oh. I help you? That fire last night. The girl who was burned. Is she here? A girl? We've received no new patients in the last day or so. Was she hurt? She was burned all over. Are you a relative? What did you say her name was? I don't know her name. I was the one who saved her from the fire. She must have been brought here. Is there another hospital? I'm sorry. Perhaps someone in reception could help you. I have urgent business to attend to. Goodbye. Very conspicuous. Oh my gosh. I love the way the music kind of drum rolled there to a degree, you know. Uh, right, okay, so where are we going now? Do we go up the elevator or what? I don't think there was any other doors we could go up. Do we actually head to reception? Still a bit horrified about the window being smashed. I'll check the elevator. Probably my best bet. Um. I need to... there we go. Bring the elevator back down. Oh no, we are on the first floor. Wait, sorry, that's the American usage of it. I'm getting so confused right now. Too many American games, too many Japanese games. So confused about elevators, floors, shit like that. <sighs> yes, in England we have a ground floor, and then we go up from that, and that's what I meant. So, um, we actually are controlling it. It's like uh, Silent Hill 2 here. It's great. I like pressing buttons. It's all fun, isn't it? So, are we going to, uh... No, I don't like that. I'm guessing we're going to the second floor, because that's where the dude went. I'm not going to go back to reception, because I know fuck all. He's going to come and, you know, help me out with that. Oh, my light's on now. I mean, I didn't actually, uh... I think they've been disconnected. Or would it be the other way around? They've never been connected, because it was under construction, wasn't it? The light is back on, yes. Let's try entering here then. Don't really have much choice. Yes? Oh. 
Well, that's not good. 